What is up guys? I am Samuel and welcome back to Louisiana. So yes, I am in a tree right now, but we have a very exciting video today. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be hydro dipping some things and you've probably seen this video on YouTube because it's quite popular right now. But what's going to be different about ours is we're going to be hydro dipping things that I have not seen hydro dip before on YouTube. So we're going to be doing Louisiana hydro dipping. So if you don't know what hydro dipping is, I'm going to explain that in a minute, but let's get into it. All right, so we're going to be hydro dipping this stuff here. So first thing you need to hydro dip is you need your spray paint. Uh, I'm actually made wearing gloves because I don't really want to paint my nails, which you'll see why that's possible to do in a minute. And then you need your stuff to dip. So we're going to be dipping a helmet, um, and then we just since we're stuck at home, we have to find stuff at home to dip. So you're going to be dipping a golf ball, a rock, and we are going to be hydro dipping a 3D printed Lamborghini. So if you don't know what hydro dipping is, hydro dipping is a method to transfer paint. So you uh, get a bucket of water and you put paint on top of the water, and then you dip whatever you want to paint in the water, and the paint sticks to whatever you're trying to dip. That's how it works. See, so we're gonna have to fill up a bucket with water and then we're gonna be ready to hydro dip. All right, first we have to fill up the bucket with water. All right, now it's time to put your paint on the water. Uh, we are actually gonna hydro dip the helmet first because I'm really excited about that. We have some interesting colors. We have white, we have silver, metallic, and we have gray. So, let's start putting it in the water. Now, the paint will actually dry pretty fast, so you kinda, as soon as you put it in the water, you have to be ready to dip. And I have my helmet right over there, so let's do it. All right, now we're gonna kinda make a pattern. And now we're gonna put a little more, cause it's kinda drying, and then we're gonna be ready to dip. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how it does. And that is our rose gold and silver helmet. That is actually pretty interesting, guys. This is gonna be pretty neat. All right, we're gonna let this one dry. Now, we are going to hydro dip our Lamborghini. So we have to, should we do this in rose gold and black? Let's try that. All right, here it is. And I did put tape over the window, so we'll peel that off in a minute. Should we dip our rock in this too? All right, here goes our rock. That is a pretty cool looking rock, if you ask me, honestly. All right, now our last thing to dip. All right, here goes gray and black golf ball. All right, here goes our golf ball. Here it is, that is a pretty cool looking golf ball. All right, so our stuff has been drying for a minute, so let's go see how they look. Uh, here is our helmet. This is actually is probably the best one that we did. It looks really, really good. I'm really excited for this one to dry. Uh, here's the Lamborghini. It looks pretty good, too. It's, um, I mean, obviously, it's a chrome gold Lamborghini, and you've probably seen a lot of those. Here's the rock. The rock is rather interesting. This could make a good paperweight. That's a pretty cool uh, design. The golf ball, surprisingly, Nothing really worked on it. I actually redid this one off camera and the paint still is not holding. I washed it really good before and actually sanded it a little bit and it still has not stuck. So the golf ball doesn't really work. I just had him sitting in there. But everything else actually turned out pretty good. One of the better times that I've tried hydro dipping things because sometimes it doesn't really work. Uh, I don't know if that's because I'm not that great at it or if the process is a little hit and miss. But comment down below what your favorite item is and we'll be back when these things are done drying. All right, so here's the Lamborghini we hydro dipped, and since I didn't want to paint the windshield and the windows on the sides, there's actually a little tape on there. So we're gonna peel that tape off and see how it did, because the car was black underneath. Ah, oh, yes, this is it. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Okay, now I gotta do the little windows here, side windows. I gotta find where my tape is. That's it. All right, here is the 
final version of the Lamborghini Aventador. All right, so it's been a few hours and everything is now completely dry. Uh, it's not completely cured, but it is dry. Sorry about my hair. Uh, here is the golf ball. The golf ball did not work really at all. It got dipped twice and it still didn't do good. Paint just did not stick, so we're done with it. All right, next, uh, the rock. So the rock actually looks pretty good. It has a uh, little chrome gold and this gray. So this will make a really nice paperweight. Uh, next, we have the Lamborghini, and you saw I peeled the tape off the windshield and the side do side windows. It looks really, really good with the black and the chrome gold. And then we have the helmet, which is probably, in my opinion, one of the, turned out the best. Uh, it has a little texture, which is neat. And it looks really, really good with the chrome gold and the gray and the white, which I really like. So it's a pretty neat helmet. And I'm going to say our hydro dipping did fairly well. Now, uh, if you watched a few videos ago, my mom was working on a quilt. And then last video, I actually stitched on the quilt. And anyway, she just finished the quilt and she's been really excited about it. And she wants me to put it in a YouTube video. So we are actually going to go look at the quilt she made and the quilt that it was copied from, which uh, my great-great-grandmother actually made. So let's go look at it. All right, I finished my quarantine project quilt. And um, I actually finished it uh, two days ago. So we've got everything done. I want to show you my tag. It says, made by Rachel, April 2020. Copied from the glorified nine patch quilt made by my great-grandmother, Rosa Anna Otwell Brown. She was born May 2nd, 1881, so the anniversary of her birthday was actually yesterday, and she died January 18th in 1958. So the original quilt that she made was uh, made around the 30s, and I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. I'll show you a picture of my great-grandmother. Here she is. And she is helping my mom celebrate her third birthday. So that is the uh, lady that made the original quilt that we're going to go see. Okay, so here's the original quilt that I copied mine from. And Grandma Rosie pieced all of hers by hand because she never owned a sewing machine. And she's like, just, this quilt is, you know, about 90 something years old. It was made in the 30s. She made it all out of old feed sacks, which was a fabulous cotton material, and it has cotton batting in it. And what I want to show you is the, um, on the back, the feed sack material. Let me find it. Okay, so on the back, she pieced all of these feed sacks together, and this actually still has the text of the 100-pound um, Purina cow chow. And I just think that is... So great, a lot of history. There's a green ink on there. You can still read the words. Now, this is a, um, underneath here is another quilt I made, and it's just a regular nine patch. You see, it's made up of nine squares. Now this, being the glorified nine patch, it too has nine squares, but you can see the four corners have been glorified, so it makes it a little harder to put together. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your grandmother, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.